The mountain Nyala is a large antelope species found in the highlands of Ethiopia, specifically in the Ethiopian highlands and the Bale Mountains. It is one of Ethiopia's flagship wildlife species and is known for its striking appearance and endemic range. These antelopes primarily inhabit the montane and subalpine forests of the Ethiopian highlands, typically at altitudes ranging from 3,000 to 4,500 meters above sea level. Mountain Nyala is endemic to Ethiopia, meaning they are found nowhere else in the world. Their range is limited to certain areas within the Ethiopian highlands. The mountain Nyala is listed as an endangered species due to habitat loss and hunting. Conservation efforts have been made to protect their habitats and populations. National parks and reserves in Ethiopia, such as the Bale Mountains National Park, have been established to help safeguard this species and other unique wildlife found in the region. Mountain Nyala has a dark brown to reddish brown coat. They exhibit vertical white stripes on their flanks, which are especially noticeable against their darker background color. Males tend to have a darker overall coloration compared to females. Mountain Nyala has a dark brown to reddish brown coat. They exhibit vertical white stripes on their flanks, which are especially noticeable against their darker background color. Males tend to have a darker overall coloration compared to females. Adult Mountain Nyala are relatively large antelopes. Adult males, bulls, are typically larger than females, cows. On average, males can stand about 120 to 140 centimeters tall at the shoulder. Females are slightly smaller usually ranging from 100 to 120 centimeters in shoulder height. Adult male mountain Nyala can weigh between 180 to 300 kilograms. Adult females are smaller and lighter, with a weight range of 120 to 220 kilograms. The weight of individuals can vary depending on factors such as age, diet, and habitat conditions. Mountain Nyala are generally solitary animals, but they may form small groups or associations, especially during the breeding season or when resources are abundant. These groups are typically small and consist of females and their offspring. Adult bulls are territorial and tend to establish and defend territories, which they mark with dung and urine. Territories are often centered around areas with good access to food, water, and shelter. These antelopes are primarily diurnal but may also be active during the cooler parts of the night, especially when there is a full moon. Mountain Nyala seek shelter in forested areas, particularly during the heat of the day. They may rest in shaded spots or lie down in the vegetation to avoid detection by predators. Mountain Nyala is cautious and alert, and they rely on their keen senses of hearing, sight, and smell to detect potential threats like predators. In response to seasonal changes in vegetation and climate, Mountain Nyala may migrate to different altitudes in search of food and water. Mountain Nyala often emits barking sounds, which can serve as a form of communication among individuals in the group. These barks may vary in intensity and duration. Grunting is another common vocalization made by mountain Nyala. Grunts can convey different messages depending on the context. For example, they may be used during mating displays and interactions between males and females. Snorting sounds can be produced by mountain Nyala especially when they are alarmed or perceive a threat nearby. Snorts are often a sign of alertness and may be followed by other alarm behaviors. 
During the breeding season, adult males may produce specific vocalizations to attract females and assert their dominance over rival males. These calls can be loud and intense as part of mating displays. When mountain nyala is in distress or danger, they may emit loud and repeated calls to signal their vulnerability or to alert other members of their group. These distress calls can help rally support or warn others of potential threats. Grasses make up a significant portion of the mountain nyala's diet. They graze on various grass species, including both short grasses and taller grasses, depending on what is available in their habitat. Mountain Nyala also consumes a variety of herbaceous plants, which can include wildflowers, forbs, and other non-woody vegetation. These plants provide essential nutrients and can be an important part of their diet, especially during certain times of the year. While grasses and herbs are primary components of their diet, mountain nyala may also browse on shrubs and leaves from trees, particularly in the upper reaches of their range where there is more woody vegetation. Although fruits are not a major part of their diet, mountain nyala have been observed consuming fruits when they are in season. Fruits can provide additional sources of nutrition and hydration. The mountain Nyala's diet can vary with the changing seasons and environmental conditions. They may shift their feeding preferences based on the availability of specific plants and the nutritional content of different vegetation types. Mountain Nyala obtains most of their water from the vegetation they consume. They are adapted to living in an environment where water sources may be scarce or distributed unevenly. Mountain Nyala typically has a well-defined breeding season, which is associated with the rainy or wet season in the Ethiopian highlands. This season generally occurs between June and October when there is an abundance of fresh vegetation and improved forage availability. During the breeding season, adult bulls become more active in seeking out receptive cows. They engage in courtship displays, which can involve posturing, vocalizations, and physical interactions with females. Dominant males compete for access to females, and the mating process can be competitive. After a successful mating, the female mountain Nyala has a gestation period of approximately 230 days, which is approximately 7.5 months. This period allows for the development of the calf within the mother's womb. Female mountain Nyala typically give birth to a single calf, although twins can occur in rare instances. Calving usually takes place during the rainy season which ensures that there is ample food and water available to support the mother and her newborn calf. Mothers are responsible for nursing and caring for their calves. They often hide their newborns in dense vegetation to protect them from predators. The calf relies on its mother's milk for nourishment in the early stages of life. As the calf grows and becomes more independent, it starts to graze on solid food, gradually transitioning from milk to a mixed diet of vegetation. However, calves stay close to their mothers for several months, learning essential survival skills from them. Female mountain Nyala typically reaches sexual maturity at around two to three years of age, while males become sexually mature slightly later, at about three to four years of age. Breeding success can be influenced by factors such as the health of the habitat, food availability, and competition among males. In areas with better resources, breeding success may be higher. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for even more viewing pleasure. Don't forget, like and comment. Feel free to share.